Hi you guys, I'm here with some empties for you. So um, let's go ahead and see what kind of empties I've gone through over the past few weeks. Um, the first thing is this Colgate mouthwash. This is the Total Advanced Pro Shield. Um, I actually really, really liked this one. I have tons of them. I get them from couponing and things like that. So um, getting Colgate is really easy to get it for free with couponing. So if you're looking for mouthwash, definitely check out the Colgate brand. And this particular one is really, really great. I like the flavor. I like the way it makes my mouth feel and everything. Next is this Clairol Root Touch-Up. This one is in which color is this? Dark Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. Um, and I have, I actually really need to redo my hair all over in general, but it did a good job at touching up my roots. Um, so, and this one here, no matter what shade of brown or reddish brown that I go to, this always tends to blend everything out. So I never really have a problem um, with touching up with this and it not being the color that I've gotten from before. So I really like that and it does a good, a good job and I can use it for multiple uses because you just put in it the amount that you need and that's it. Because I only really have to touch up this from here forward. Next I have from Soft Soap. This is the Body Butter and Heavenly Vanilla. This one's really good. I have another one just like this in my shower. I really like the scent of it. It's very soft and it's very creamy. It leaves my skin very, very smooth after the shower too. I really like that one. Next is this Thermacare Lower Back and Hip. <clears throat> this is really good. You can even use it towards the front in your abdomen if you want to, if you have like cramping or anything like that. And um, it lasts a really long time. Like you can go to bed with this thing and it's warm and wake up the next day and it still be warm. It's got um, like these little stones on the inside of the patches. The patches kind of look like, I don't know if there's a picture of it. Yeah, the patches look just like this. It's not orange, but that's the little heating stones that's inside and it's really effective it's really really good i always use them i don't have a heating pad or anything like that so that's uh, what i use and it works for me next what i used up is this l'oreal infallible um, facial spray this is really excellent i love it a lot this is expensive to get in the drugstore i just don't get why they made it so expensive for the drugstore however it's really good um, the scent, I don't even, I, I don't remember the scent of it at all. I guess it, maybe it didn't have one, um, but it did make my makeup last all day. I had less um, times that I needed to blot my face throughout the day. Since I haven't had this, I noticed that my face does get a lot oilier, oilier quicker. So I would recommend this and I probably would purchase it again through couponing. Next I have a couple of wipes here. One is from Simple and the other is through CVS and this is the age defying one. I like this one. I also like this one too. Um, this one is like the other version of the Simple but the CVS brand. Um, this one was very, um, the cloth is like a different texture, really soft cloth. Um, it's very moist. It's really, really good. These, however, these, um, I guess I've had these for a while. They were kind of dried out. But in general, I really do like the Simple Wipes. Um, these are a lot thinner than the other version that I just showed you. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I probably would go with the CVS brand in the pink package. So there you go. Next, I used up this um, Secret, what is this? Secret Outlast Completely Clean. Um, this is the clear version. Honestly, I don't really like this one. Um, I, I had it from forever, you know, I have a lot of different types of deodorants from couponing and things like that. I don't like these twist up gels, um, and I don't like the clear gel. It just doesn't seem effective for me. I personally don't like it. However, I have a ton of them, so I, I feel like you really need to reapply that, um, for it to work well. Okay, next I have this, um, Physician's Formula Talc Free Mineral Wear, it's like a, a primer. Um, I didn't even really use it. I think this is completely full of product. Um, basically, I don't even know how do you, oh, you twist it up. And it's this green stuff in here. The brush was like 
pink, white, and green, but the product itself is just strictly green, and I did not like it. Let me see what comes out of here. The Having this brush number one is kind of gross because if you don't use it all the time, it gets hard and gross. Um, number two, the primer itself, if it would even come out, there it goes, it's coming out now. Um, the primer itself is kind of gritty and you can see how, let me zoom you in here, there we go. Okay, so this primer is extremely gritty on your face. Like right now, I can barely feel it in my fingertips, but when it's on my face, it feels so horrible and, and just itchy on my face. And then and then when I, I put it all over, it's like my makeup just kind of like clumped up and it was just not good. I had to immediately take it off my face and um, redo all of my makeup. So the first time I used it, I immediately stuck it in here and I didn't want it. I just had to get rid of it. Didn't like it. It was terrible. It was terrible. That's. I think that's the first time I used a product for the first time and didn't want to give it a second chance and just immediately tossed it out. Next is a sample from Birchbox. This is um, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. It's a deep conditioning mask. It was okay. Um, it was a great size sample. You can actually use, I could actually use this whole thing. I probably would normally use like this whole thing or just shy of the whole thing um, to treat my hair since my hair is very, very long. It goes all the way down to my butt. Um, so for me, I would have to use, if not the whole thing, I think it was almost the whole thing. Um, oh gosh, the scent stinks. It really stinks really bad. Um, I don't remember how it was. I think it was just a regular, like a conditioner, but I don't think I recall it being like a great mask because usually when things are uh, like a, a good mask, I remember it. And this one, mm -mm. and the smell, I can't believe how bad that smells. <clears throat> Next is from John Frieda. This is the Root Awakening Hydrating Nourishing Conditioner. I don't even think they make this version anymore. This is for dry scalp. I don't have dry scalp, but I do like this one. This one had like a minty feeling um, and I really, really like John Frieda products. Um, I really liked this particular one. Um, yeah, it just has this, it brings me back some memories to me and it has such a, a fresh herbal like scent, but not like those natural products. I don't know, maybe like eucalyptus or something like that. What the heck is in here? Yep, there's eucalyptus in it. Gosh, that was good. It doesn't even say that on here, does it? No, that was a good one. So I like the scent of this. Next is this very tiny, small Urban Decay All Nighter and it went rancid on me. So it's almost completely full, but the when I used it on my face, it smelled so bad. I mean, really so bad, I had to toss it out. What a shame, such a shame. I, I don't know if this is exactly what's in here, but um, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know, it smells so bad, so I have to toss it out. Uh, next is this um, NYX, I think this is a, yeah, a shadow base. And it just comes like this with a little doe foot applicator and uh, there's still a little bit in there. It's skin colored, so you can't really see it. I think it did an okay job. It was just, just kind of drying out, so it was time to get rid of it. I've had it for a while now. So um, it was a good one, but if you're looking for a cheap primer um, that will do its job, I suggest the e.l.f. one. It's only a dollar, and it actually really does do a good job as a primer. And it's a very similar doe foot ab applicator just like this one. <clears throat> Next is this Full Lash Bloom. I think I got this like an Expo TV kind of campaign where they send you products and you do a video review on it on Expo TV. However, Expo TV is no longer here. It's called something else now. Um, Gen Dot Video, I think is what it is. And they contact you personally for different types of videos that they need to have reviewed and um, things like that. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is um, this mascara, I didn't really like it. Didn't like it at all, actually. Um, it didn't do anything for my lashes. It's one of these um, little uh, what do you call it? Plastic-like um, brushes, but they're 
they have like these um i don't know if you look at it really nice and, and look at it really closely you can see that there's multiple layers of this but it's super duper sharp it's so weird and it kind of doesn't volume up your lashes it just i don't think is to be honest i really don't i just i really just didn't like it so that is everything in here um i just broke my nail that's it you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in another video bye